investigation has confirmed that numbers that do not qualify as identity card numbers have been used to register voters in parts of the country and that is responsible for what is being presented as high turnout in voter registration in those regions. A random check shows that the following numbers have been used as national identification cards to register voters. Zero, 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 one, two, eleven, twelve, two, three, one, 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 twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, and forty. Those are just samples. The IBC database has been manipulated to ensure that the cell that has the document identification number can take any numbers instead of the eight numerical national ID or seven numbers if a passport is used. Having designed that cell as such makes it easy for the IBC to be complicit and difficult for anyone to know. We have information that the doctoring of the IBC registration software was done intentionally by former employees of the IBC who were aligned to Jubilee as a way to ensure Jubilee strongholds register more voters. The manipulation was done to ensure that single digit numbers such as the ones listed above can be used to register foreigners or even those without IDs. But it is also possible that the names popping up under the, the fake ID numbers may be non-existent. These could be virtual voters, non-existent human beings being included in the IBC register to create room for ballot staffing during elections. Na ni madai hayo ambayo yametolewa na kinara wa Kodra ila Odinga kuhusu nambari hizi zinazotumiwa nambari za vitambulisho zinazotumiwa katika shughuli hii ya usajili. Tufufanuli anachokisema kwamba uh, madai haya ndio yamesababisha ya watu kushangani vipi uh, nambari ya kitambulisho ya Daniel Moi rais mstaafu umetumiwa kumsajili mtu kwenye shughuli inayoendelea. Tufafanulie nambari hizi zinamaanisha nini? Kama nilivyosema ni hapo awali uh, ni kwamba hii uh, problem si ya sasa na haijafanyika sasa katika hii mass voter registration ambayo inaendelea. Hii ni historical problem ni ya kitambo iliyofanyika uh, mwaka elfu, uh, mbili na kumi na mbili wakati wa usajili wa, 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 wa election ya, ya, ya mwaka elfu kumi na tatu. Na ni kweli hiyo uh, uh, field ina, ilikuwa inachukua hiyo namba uh, ukiweka ina manake hatutumii ID kama the primary key tunatumia tu fingerprints. Sasa tunapo uh, sajili mtu tunachukua fingerprints hizo ndio tunaweka kama zile tunaita unique identifier ya mpigaji kura ama mtu aliyesajiliwa kupiga kura. Ile ID ni ile tuna, tunaita alphanumeric uh, digits ile tunachukua kama jina yako uh, 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 date of birth ni, ni, ni mambo mingi ambayo tunachukua pamoja na hiyo na hiyo na hiyo ID 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 number lakini ID namba yenyewe haitumiwi kama kama primary key ile na, katika system yetu haitumiwi tunatumia biometrics na hiyo ndio kwa sababu tunasema mtu yeyote ambaye amejiandikisha lazima tuchukue biometrics zake na mpigaji kura yeyote ambaye amesajiliwa katika register yetu the first identification uh, uh, method ile tutatumia ni ya biometric sio ya, ya kitambulisho lakini kuna kuna kama nilivyosema awali kuna uwezekano mtu anaweza fanya makosa anapofanya ile entry. Na kuna wengine pia wako na vitambulisho zinaweza kuwa bandia. Na kuna wengine ambao pia wanaweza chukua kitambulisho cha mtu waende watumie kuji kujisajili. Kuji Hii inawezekana. Lakini kitu tunayosema sasa kwenda mbele. Kwenda mbele. Tunataka tu, tu, tuangalie hizi records, hizi 78,000 records ambayo tume identify kwamba tume tumeongea na watu wa National Registration Bureau tumepeleka hiyo data huko wame run through their, their, their registration system na wamepata 1053 peke yake ambao wamerudi kwetu wakatuambia hizi ziko sawa na haya majina ndio hayo 
Ndio yako sawa. Nitarudi kukuuliza lile swali ambalo nilikuuliza awali. Iwapo kweli uh, nambari hizi si za si, si sawa. Iwapo kweli huenda vitambulisho hivi vilitumiwa kwa njia ambayo haistahili. Rekodi hizo zinafanya nini katika sajili ya IBC? Na mbona ilichukua muda ama ilichukua tetesi ambazo umetolewa na wale viongozi wa upinzani kwa IBC kujitokeza kusema kweli ni kweli yanayodaiwa ni ya kweli. Majina haya yanafanya nini katika sajili ya IBC? Na mbona hamkusema kwanza mlisubiri hadi uh, upinzani ukatoa madai kama haya kwenu nyinyi kujitokeza kukana? Ama kuthibitisha. Unajua si ati tulingoja mpaka mtu yote atoke huko nje atueleze kwamba kuna itilafu. Sisi wenyewe kama tuko IBC tulikuwa tumeanza hii process. Tulikuwa tumeanza hii process kufanya ile tunaita cleaning of the register. Manake eh, unajua register yetu iko na records 15.9 million kufikia sasa. Ile ambayo tuna, tunaenda kupata kutoka kwa, kwa hii usajili tuna, tuna, tuna plan kupata kama, kama kwa, kwa upande wa chini eh, milioni nne. Kwa upande wa juu milioni sita. Sasa ukiongeza hiyo kwa, kwa 15.9 million una, unaongea karibu milioni eh, 21 ya, ya, ya wapiga kura. Na eh, database kubwa kama hiyo inaweza kuwa na, na, na itilafu ndogo, double entries kidogo ama eh, small errors. Lakini tunasema hizo errors ambazo ziko katika uh, database hiyo tunayashughulikia, tunataka tutoe hiyo 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 hizo errors zote, tunataka turekebishe na tulainishe hii register ili iwe safi hmm. na pia sheria ambayo ilipitishwa na bunge mwaka, mwaka uliopita wa 2016 inaelezea kuwa kuna wakati ambao register itafanyiwa inspection hmm. na kuna pia inasema register itafanyiwa audit manake sisi tukimaliza huu usajili wa sahihi tutatengeneza register tutai clean alafu tunataka ile audit ifanywe kwa hiyo register Naam. sisi kama tume maana tunataka transparency mm. na tunataka watu wote ambao ni, ni wanashughulika na mambo ya, 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 ya uchaguzi ama washikadau wa wanasiasa tunataka wawe na confidence na hiyo register na ndio tunataka tuiweke huko nje tukishamaliza watu waiangalie na pia watu wakuje kama wapiga kura wenyewe waje waji, waangalie records zao ili watuambie kama kuna kasoro na tutarekebisha. Naam, kwa sababu muda umekwisha, nataka unijibie tu kwa ufupi sana. Umetueleza kwamba nambari za vitambulisho za Moi Kibaki, Moi Kalonzo Msioka Raila Odinga zilitumiwa kwenye shughuli iliyokwisha, bali si sasa. Sio sasa, ilitumiwa katika ili hiyo 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 makosa, hiyo itilafu ilifanyika katika usajili wa mwaka 1000 2012 Basi wapo nambari yao ilitumiwa wakati huo. Ilikuwaaje kwamba Kalonzo Msioka na Raila Odinga waliweza kupiga kura? wapo nambari yao imetumiwa na mtu mwingine ilikuwaaje kwamba wao pia wanaenda na kile kile kitambulisho na wakaweza kupiga kura manake walikuwa na udanganyifu wali, katika uchaguzi ulikuwa walipoenda kupiga kura walitumia fingerprints zao kwa biometric for identification kwa hivyo kwenye uchaguzi ni nini kitatumiwa fingerprint ndio si kitambulisho sio kitambulisho kitambulisho hakitumiwi kama kama mm. chombo cha ku cha kuji cha ku cha ku, 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 kuwezesha upige kura kitambulisho yeah. kinatumiwa tu ku identify kuwa wewe ni mkenya umekuja katika yeah. mahali pa kupiga kura na tunaangalia hizo kitambulisho chako na kisha angalia kitambulisho atakwambia weka kidole hapa maana eh, 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 biometrics zako Naam. ziko katika register yetu. Tunasubiri kuona kwa sababu maswali ni mengi ambayo yametumwa hata sijapata nafasi kuyasoma yale ambayo yametumwa kwa sababu kuna wale wanaosema vifaa vinasafirishwa kutoka kuelekea mataifa ya nje, watu wanasafirishwa kutoka mataifa ya nje kuja kujisajili. Maswali ni mengi ambayo yanatumwa kwa Wakenya lakini tumaini ni kwamba shughuli hii itafanyika kwa njia huru na haki. Na sisi kama kama wana habari tutazidi kufuatilia kueleza Wakenya ukweli. Shukran sana kwa muda wako. Sisi sisi, sisi, sisi tunataka umekuisha, lakini sekunde eh, tano tu. Yes, tunataka mm. kuwaeleza wakenya kuwa uchaguzi utakuwa mzuri yeah. na tunataka watu support ili tuendeshe uchaguzi mzuri ambao utakubaliwa na kila mtu. Naam, amekuwa ni Chris Msando ambaye ni meneja na wa teknolojia mawasiliano katika tume ya IBC ambaye amekuwa kitueleza kuhusu madai ambayo amekuwa kibuliwa hasa na upande wa upinzani kuhusu shughuli ya usajili wa wapiga kura. Muda si muda tutarejea na wao pili ya taarifa za dira ya wiki tukiwa naye studioni waziri wa maji Eugene Wamalo tunakuwa tukiangazia kiangazi na mikakati ambayo imewekwa na serikali katika kukabili bala nja nchini usiende mbali